Sangyutta Nikaya, The Connected Discourses. Mahavagga Sangyutta, The Great Section of Connected Discourses. Satipatthana Sangyutta, Connected Discourses on the Four Bases of Mindfulness. Ambapali Vagga, The Section on Ambapali, the Courtesan. Sutta number 47.1 Ambapali Sutta Ambapali's Mango Grove This is what I personally heard. Once, while the Blessed One was staying in Vesali at Ambapali's Mango Grove, he addressed the bhikkhus and said, Bhikkhus? Yes, Pante, the bhikkhus replied. And the Blessed One said this, Bhikkhus, this is the one guaranteed path that leads to the purification of beings, for the removing of sorrow and pain, for the elimination of misery, sadness, and anguish. The very method which, when you truly apply and put into practice, will have you achieve, and with certainty, the realization and personal experiencing of Nibbana, that is, the four bases of mindfulness. Now what are these four? Here, bhikkhus, the bhikkhu dedicates himself to meditating while being fully attentive and aware of the body, carefully staying with the body, by observing whatever he detects to be the most pronounced bodily sensation that is occurring at that time. He does this while he trains enthusiastically, but without having any thoughts or attitudes of either longing or resentment towards the world. Also bhikkhus, the bhikkhu dedicates himself to meditating while being fully attentive and aware of feelings, carefully staying with whatever he detects to be the most pronounced feeling occurring at that time, mindful of it in all its transitions and fluctuations. He does this while he trains enthusiastically, but without having any thoughts or attitudes of either longing or resentment towards the world. Also bhikkhus, the bhikkhu dedicates himself to meditating while being fully attentive and aware of whatever state that is occurring in the heart, the citta, carefully staying with whatever he detects to be the most pronounced experience taking place within the citta at that time, remaining mindful of it in all its transitions and fluctuations. He does this as he trains enthusiastically, but without having any thoughts or attitudes of either longing or resentment towards the world. Also bhikkhus, the bhikkhu dedicates himself to meditating while being fully attentive and aware of whatever mental phenomena or mind objects, dhamma, along with their relationships, that are occurring at that time, carefully staying with whatever he detects to be the most pronounced mind object he is experiencing, mindful of it in all its transitions and fluctuations. He does this as he trains enthusiastically but without having any thoughts or attitudes of either longing or resentment towards the world. Therefore, bhikkhus, this is the one guaranteed path that leads to the purification of beings, for the removing of sorrow and pain, for the elimination of misery, sadness, and anguish, the very method which when you truly apply and put into practice will have you achieve and with certainty, the realization and personal experiencing of Nibbana, that is, the four bases of mindfulness. This is what the Blessed One said. The bhikkhus, meanwhile, became delighted and inspired by the instruction they received in the words spoken to them by the Blessed One. Sad, sad, sad.